Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kim. I go by Killer Kiss Cosmic Queen here on YouTube, also known as Killer Kiss. We're going to get right into this reading. We're going to pull collectively first. And then we'll do Divine Masculine. I'll do Divine Feminine. Okay, so they want me to speak about these cards first. So, I did just watch two childhood movies today, The Wizard of Oz and The Lion King with my daughter. There was a lot of profound messages in there. Um, basically, when it came to The Lion King, there's this part, if you guys probably remember, where Simba, um, the son of Mufasa, looks into the stars and remembers what his dad told him is that all the stars are kings and like ancient kings, ancient ancestors that are always standing beside him to help him to remember who he is. And that's basically the message of the stars and what they're here to provide to all of you today. However, I feel like a lot of you are being called to step into your power, but you've been denying it. Um, it's like, it's funny to me. It's like you've made a wish and the universe is trying to provide you or this person that wish, but you're denying it, disregarding it, st staying stuck is what I'm hearing and denying it. And it's interesting too, because it's not like a drastic change that you have to make. It's just pretty much just being seen and taking the offer. Um, yeah, it's like this person wants to make an offer here in the future, but they're the ones that are holding themselves back from that offer. They're also failing to connect with their crystals. They want this person to connect with their crystals more. Yeah, they want you because pointed towards our future, we have the high priestess. They want this unity with you. They want to be able to see the things that they that you do. They want to be able to access the information that you do. You access a lot of information through water. You access a lot of information through your own inner kosh. That is like your own tarot, your own inner tarot of divine feminines, your own inner tarot. And the divine masculines want to be able to see the things that you see while they're failing to notice or to recognize that they have the same abilities. They're just failing to recognize it or failing to acknowledge it. That's the missing link. Okay, let's pull Divine Masculine. This card does not belong in the stack. That's the Fool. We have the fool here. Someone's needing, needing to take a leap of faith because otherwise they're going to keep facing stress and self-sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice and stress if they don't take a leap of faith. The universe is begging this masculine to re-remember who the F they are. They hold a lot of sensitivity for a reason because they're going to be utilizing the sensitivity that they have in the future. Look at these cards just flying out. Joy bottom of the deck for the divine masculines. All right. In the past, there was some sort of relationship that this divine masculine had. It was a romantic relationship and it turned their world upside down because it went sour. In the present moment, they're having to find their creativity, their inner muse, what lights them up. This is something that has come up so many times within the Divine Masculine readings because they're failing to acknowledge it. <sighs> so they're seeing their charmer ways, their almost like trickster ways, but not so much because they're only tricking themselves. 
It's like they're trying to trick every illusion or every person outside of them when really they're just having to go within and analyze the growth that they've already accomplished. It's so bizarre. It is so bizarre. And it's like they're trying to charm you instead of charm themselves. Meaning they're trying to impress you instead of go within and notice all the growth that they've overcome and also all the gifts that they have and to recognize that. It's so weird. And it's like if they fail to see or to do this, they're going to keep sacrificing themselves towards the future because they're not recognizing it. This, If they recognize it, it would bring them joy. But they're failing to do so. Yeah, this is going to bring a tower. And uh, what's going to feel like in the moment of bad luck if they fail to see the importance of themselves, what they have to offer the world, because the world is begging them to use, to use and utilize their gifts. Let me pull a few more cards. What is it that these divine masculines... Oh, I got a card mixed in here too. So bizarre it's the snake skin 33 personal enlightenment shed the old and make room for the new i can't make it up it's the same as a fool card leaving something old and jumping into something new interesting what does the divine masculine see this divine feminine as what how did how are they viewing this divine feminine next level commitment they're denying what they know would be a next level commitment either to themselves or to you i feel like it's to you next level commitment now this doesn't have to be engagement in marriage obviously it could just be that next level and they're denying that because um they're failing to acknowledge the stuff with inside of them that's actually the old and they're failing to see their own internal growth and their out external growth and they're just failing to step in, step into this new phase. It's like a new phase. It doesn't have to be life-changing or life-altering. It just has to be like a new perspective of what the universe is trying to show them. And now here we have the distance is killing me. So you guys could live far apart. Absence truly does make the heart grow fonder here. They've been praying. They've been praying to seek higher power and guidance and failing to see it within themselves, a lot of them want to surrender because all this fear and anxiety that they're holding, it's interfering within this dynamic. It's interesting because in the Wizard of Oz, like I brought up in the beginning, there's the, the hourglass and it's right here. It's not too late. It's too late to apologize is what they think. You don't need an apology. The best closure is moving forward on your path, okay? This is definitely a soul connection. This is a connection between souls that recognize each other from a past life. Soul recognition and visiting your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. They are messages. And I'm getting my shit together. Taking a hiatus to work on themselves. So this could be why they're out of communication with you is because... They really need to go within and work on themselves because they're acknowledging it. Yeah, they need more and what worked in the past is no longer working. Pretty soon in the future, they will be ready to talk. But right now, they're not acknowledging the intense connection or electric connection that they have with you. Um, there's triggers still and they do recognize that it's a deep connection, but... They're not validating that, I guess you could say, within themselves. So let's get what a few more cards.
dreams come true and rendezvous bottom of the deck but i want to pull a few more dreams come true so have faith your rainbow will come smiling through and it's so interesting somewhere over the rainbow dreams come true every dream that you dare to dream really do come true so yeah have faith your rainbow will come smiling through and it does say both the rainbow and dreams come true interesting right let's see any other messages for divine masculine here and that the divine masculine wants to communicate but feels like they can't spirit i need your god we need your help on this <laughs> wow manifesting the one rekindling twin flame union friendly support so they are manifesting the one very soon your true love will arrive rekindle here an old flame returns that was in the reverse we have twin flame union whoops the phone's being silly twin flame union heart body mind and soul and friendly support fairies guides and friends give aid during this time so they do want to manifest the one i feel like they will be rekindling a twin flame relationship here and they're going to have friends and help in the subtle realms that are going to also help this holiday we have third party there could be a karmic situation that they're working through yeah and holiday here enjoy a change of scenery to spice up your love life so some of you might be traveling together or you might be going off on your own to travel to gain new clarity on this connection okay let's see what else magnetic souls your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other possibly in the deck we have divine union and final shot reminds me of that hourglass now is the time the clock is ticking i can't make this shit up but look divine union here congratulations it's time to celebrate both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest and we have final shot now is the time the clock is ticking if you never shoot your shot then you will always wonder what if Whoo! no pressure or anything guys <laughs> His thoughts so things that he's thinking but not necessarily saying we have I need nurturance but and I feel like there's a race between time I can't make this shit up my silence is just me working on things so his silence is just him working When we connect, I feel fire throughout my body. And we have, you really hurt me. So this person could be feeling like you really hurt them or maybe you feel really hurt. I feel like this hurt is because of miscommunication. We are destined for each other. You saw it fly out. We are destined for each other. I've never felt like this in the reverse bottom of the deck. They've never felt like this. I feel like I know you. They feel like they know you. Please stop trying to control things. Please stop trying to control things. So this person has a deep understanding that things can't be controlled. And 
when I first pulled up that deck of cards, I saw control issues. from the Divine Masculines that they're thinking or feeling but not necessarily communicating. Let's go deep here. They're dealing with their karmic relationship or karmic thing that's going on. Trust in the divine timing. So maybe this person isn't trusting in the divine timing or they feel like you're not and it's bothering them. And they just need some time to themselves to really figure stuff out and work through their karmic issues. So that's what I'm getting for divine masculine. Our divine feminines. See where they're at. You're manifesting. We have the magician card. So... The Divine Feminines are really focused on manifesting right now, and they're actually manifesting courage. Look at that card just flew out. Manifesting. They're manifesting their power. They're seeing their only competition is them, and they're manifesting courage. I'll pull one more card because I feel like, wow. Yeah, they're seeing their own competition is them. Yep. Yeah. They're manifesting energy. Power, courage. They're like literally stepping into the best versions of themselves. They're being generous with their caring for others and themselves. They're getting over sorrow. There could have been a recent heartbreak or a past one that they're still healing from. It could be pertaining to this dynamic or not. They feel like maybe they missed an opportunity or they're trying to bring balance back to something in their life. Yeah, so ultimately the sorrow that they're dealing with or overcoming right now is potentially actually a reward. They feel like they're having to make a few different decisions or just de decisions in general. They feel like they sacrificed a lot in the past and they're learning ways to not do that anymore. This is like badass bitch energy that I'm getting, like really stepping into power Really stepping into your own. I keep hearing abundance too. I keep hearing like the ways that you do things and just being in your frequency, you culminate a lot of manifestations and a lot of abundance. And you're definitely a motivator here for many people, I feel. Yeah. You motivate a lot of people. Even if they give you shit about it. Or like kickback, you still motivate them. They may not admit it, but you do. Let's see what else for Divine Feminines. Yeah, don't miss the synchronicities. There's a rite of passage coming. You might be moving or moving towards something, out of something traditional to go towards your wish fulfillment. So that's what I'm getting for Divine Feminines. You're definitely building your castle. And that was another message that came in recently. If you build it, they will come. If you build it, they will come. And I actually have a video about this that's very inspiring. If you want to watch it, I'll have it as the first link listed in the description box below. Also, if you're wanting a personal reading with me, a love reading with cards, I offer those at the at I offer personal love readings at this time. And I'm also offering divinely channeled messages at this time with the videos with the bubbles that you guys and gals go crazy over. All my services and timeless readings and everything, all the good stuff is in the description box below under my Etsy shop link. I love each and every one of you so incredibly much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't be afraid to 
step in and be courageous. I love you all so much. And until next time, guys and gals, I will talk to you soon. Bye now.